Hi all and welcome to learning session Excel and VBA video series and in today's videos we will discuss about worksheet selection change event. So this event is particularly for worksheet and we will discuss about the target and intersect also. So target and intersect we have discussed in our prior video also where we have uh, discussed about worksheet change event only. So let's move to the excel file so we will discuss how the worksheet selection change is work in excel file. So moving to excel so I have created the one small data set where we have the student name and the subject where they have score score marks. So as you can see like in a student name A, B, C, D and the English, Math, Science and History. So what is worksheet selection change? So worksheet selection change says if I am, I am on G4 now and I am changing my selection to I4. So I am selecting I4 cell now. So my selection has been changed or at this moment or at this action when I am changing from one cell to another cell in a particular shade my worksheet selection change event occur so let's see how it will work so I am just opening my visual basic editor now so this is my visual basic editor I'll double click on the sheet one I'll click on the worksheet and the by default the first method or first event we find is worksheet selection change so how it will work so let's start so I am just debugging this I am not writing anything so I am just telling how the worksheet selection will work so if I will click here so my worksheet has been uh, worksheet selection has been activated so if I will run this method if I will change my selection from C3 to E4 then again it will be activated. So whenever we are changing any selection or we are selecting any particular object this method will work. So in today's method we will discuss how that particular active cell row and column will work. So we will write some small method or small macro logic here to see how it will work. We have discussed about target and target is nothing more it's in the range. So if I am selecting any particular cell here, that particular cell is my target now. So this is active cell is my target. So I am putting active cell or instead of this, I will write with active cell and I will write and with. So with statement, uh, statement we have discussed in our prior video you can refer how the with statement works. So with active cell I am just writing the entire or dot entire row dot interior dot color and I will give some color here okay so how to find out the color which we would like to give to this particular entire row so if I want to select the color I'll just go here and I'll go to the format cell in format cell I have the fill option so if I'll go to the more color and in custom tab so I can find out the RGB format here so for example I just want to give light green here so this is my color code or I'll just give here light green so this is 182 red green to 24 and 196 so I'll just put it this one in my code okay I'll just cancel this one and move to my excel file so I'll give 182 224 and 196 so this is the color and for column also I'll just give that the same color should be 
follow for my column so entire column dot interior dot color is this one so whenever I'll select this one it will change my uh, entire row color and entire row column so for example I'll select the math then the color and this one has been changed okay if once it has been make the changes it's not going on previous value for example if I, I have selected 90 then entire column and entire row has been color with green color but the previous one is the same so we will make some changes in my code so mo moving to this I'll just put one simple code here cells dot interior dot color index is equal to excel none so what it will do so whenever the worksheet selection will be occur first thing it will make the entire sheet without any color and then only the entire row of the active cell and entire column of the active cell will be colored with green cell so I'll just go here and if you can see that my active cell row and column will be colored with green but if I'll I'll go here it it's making the changes here also so what I want to do within this sheet or this particular data set from A1 to E5 I would like to make the changes if it's outside that particular data set or table I don't want any any changes should be occur so here the word intersect word will come or that particular method intersect word method we will use so let's use that one also uh, in prior video we have discussed about the intersect how that can be used so first thing we will define our range dim range as range and I am going to set my range now because this is object so while if you are declaring object as in a variable then you have to set the value of that object also so I am using range of from A1 to E5 and this is my range so I have selected this one now I'll use if not intersect intersect and the first thing is my target target is nothing but it will be active cell in this case so I'll use the target and the second whether the target is in my particular range or not then I'll use the range word and if nothing or is nothing then this will come I'll just end with and if or before this uh, because uh, if that is particular cell I just want to color it else it should not be color so I'll put it outside my intersect so any anytime if I'll click on the outside also it will remove the color from my entire sheets so let's try it now so if I'll go here then it will color it will color if I'll come here it will remove all the color okay so this is the how we can change or we can this is the example of how we can make the entire row with color and entire column with color for active cells uh, we can make some more changes here as you see like um, it's it's selecting the it's giving the color of entire cell but my data set is from a to E okay I don't want to color after after uh, this E column or uh, after this uh, fifth row I don't want to color so within that set data set it should be color so let's do some logical work here and create one logic where it will highlight only this one 
you know this particular table only and after that table it, it that color should not be happen so let's do in excel uh, so first we will select where is the start point of my row so i'll say start row row is equal to my start row will be second and my end row will be fifth and the same thing we will do for the column start column is equal to first and and column will be fifth okay then we will find out the active cell the current row and current column so active row is equal to dot row so it will give me the active row or act column is equal to dot column so it will give me the count of active column number so this has been done we will define two more ranges here so dim range 1 as range comma range 2 as range uh, dim will not come here so we have defined the range we in our prior prior video also we have discussed whenever we are declaring uh, any variables in the same line so we have to declare like this one only so for example if we are declaring any integer instead of integer or instead of this uh, int i comma j comma k as integer we have to use or dim dim i so i j k so in this case we have only the k variable as an integer i and j is type of variant so we have to we have to be careful while we are declaring the variables so this all th these things has been uh, told in my pre prior video also so be careful so dim range as an range range 1 as a range and range 2 as a range so now we, what we will do we will do the set range 1 is equal to now we will select the we will set the range range 1 set range 1 is equal to range and we will select the cells and if my active cell is c3 and for if I want to select the entire cell here then I have to start it so my act row and the my start column will be start okay start column this will be my first cell and then I'll write cells and it will be start row again and it will be end column so this is I have set my range 1 now and the same way I'll do for range 2 and same thing I'll do for range 2 so I'll write it range 2 here and now instead of active row it will be my start row and instead of here we will use end row and on column we will use the active column here so we have defined the range 1 and range 2 so now instead of entire row we will use my range 1 and range 2 so I'll write range 1 dot 
so we will use the range 1 dot interior and the color and the same color I'll copy from here control C and control V and the same thing for range 2 dot interior dot color is equal to this one okay so let's see how it, it's going to work now so if I'll click here then entire thing has been removed the color has been removed but when I'll click here the active cell row within that particular table it has been colored so it's it's done now so now I just want to make some more changes I want a color of that font need to be changed to something else and the size also should be increased so let's make the changes in that uh, VBA code and so I'll write font dot color should be VB blue or black or I'll write the blue here and the size should be increased also so font dot size should be I'll make it 20 and the font and the font should be bold also so it's equal to true so now let's ch check this one so if I'll click here the particular cell value we can see this is in blue and the size is 20 and if I'll go here then it will make the changes but the previous one has not been changes so let's make the changes in there for this one also so moving this one so I'll go here I'll write and then I'll write another with statement with cells dot font and I'll write and with in this one I'll write first I'll check which is the font or I'll before that I'll make this one so I'll check this is the size of 11 so I'll go here now I'll say dot size should be 11 and dot bold is equal to false false and dot color also is equal to VB black and end with so now let's check so when I'm clicking on this one so this is 49 and my 49 has been becomes smaller size and if I'll click on the outside so it's the entire sheet will become without any color without any font or anything so this is how we can use the selection so this is all about the concept of worksheet selection change event so you can use as per your requirement so moving to presentation now so we have discussed about target intersect and lot of thing uh, other thing also how the particular active cells row or column can be highlighted with some other color or active cell can be highlighted uh, or, or the font size can be formatted with some another formatting elements so we have discussed about that one so thanks for watching and keep learning and if you like this one please share and subscribe and if you have any query you can write it comment so in next video I try to cover that one also thank you thank you very much